Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I trust you are doing well by God's grace. Today, we would like to take some few BC likely questions and also look at the structure and the scheme of this year's exams. Now, as we all know, this year's exams has been slated on 8th July. And the timetable is also out. We know what to be writing on each day. Now, looking at the um, slides that I have here. First, we were looking at the structure and scheme of the exams. And you see, this year's exams will have questions from the strands like number and number operations fractions, decimals and percentages, ratio and proportion, patterns and relation, and a lot of them. So mostly it contains two um, parts, that is paper one and paper two. Paper one is the objective, multiple choice, 40 questions. Paper two also consists of six questions for a student to answer four of them. With the section B of paper 2 carrying 60 marks and paper 1 carrying 40 marks, in all giving us um, 100 marks. Now, this year's questions will be slight different from the normal traditional way of presenting questions. Your students will apply their knowledge to solve simple um, questions. Students will also um, be made to apply their critical thinking and reasoning abilities, apply their statistical literacy and numeracy fluency. All these um, competencies will be required by students in order for them to solve the questions that will be given to them. So on the next slide, we are going to consider some questions. So we have number 1a, simplify 7 whole number 1 over 2 minus bracket 2 whole number 1 over 2 plus 3, dividing 33 over 2. So we also have b, Philip and Emilia share the number of oranges in the ratio 3 is to 5. If Emilia received 20 more oranges than Philip, find the total oranges they shared. And you have to complete the value of 568.35 plus 359.05 minus 61.245 and leave your answer in standard forms. So the solution is given here. You know, for fractions, since they are mixed fraction, you convert them to improper, find the LCM, apply board mass, you are good to go. That's our answer. Then, with the second one, Philip and Emilia share the number of oranges in the ratio 3 is to 5. If Emilia received 20 more oranges than Philip, find the total number of oranges they shared. So, here their ratio is given the difference between the oranges shared is 20. So, you also find the difference between their ratio, that's 2 corresponded to to the 20 the total ratio is 8 and then the answer is 80 so i suggest you pause you just pick look at the questions try solving them on your own when you're done compare with the solutions given to see if it tallies it will help you yes that's why i don't want to solve it detail the solutions are there so you just copy the questions try them on your own if there's any difficulty you just refer to the solution then the next one so you complete the decimal you sum and then find the difference leave your answer in standard form then let's consider number two i will share the three acres of land among your three children she gave five acres to the first child for taking care of the land and share the rest of the land equally among the three children. So how many acres of land did the first child have? 
and what percentage of the land did the other children have so this one to try your hands on it if there's any difficulty refer to the solution 30 percent is the um, answer then number three a fair coin is tossed twice list all the possible elements in the sample space and find the probability of obtaining a head and a tail exactly two tails no tail and at least one tail so here a coin you know a coin has the head and the tail so if a coin is tossed twice there are four possible outcomes so if the two coin are tossed i'll get two heads the head from one coin the head from the other coin one head one being the tail one being the tail one being the head and two of them meeting at the tail column good so what's the probability of getting a head and a tail look out for which of the possible outcome has one head and one tail there are two head tail tail head then then um a head is only two tails is only two tails so which of them has two tails exactly it's just one this so that's one over four and then no tail which of them has no tail is this the head has no tail so it's one out of four at least one tail at least at least means um less um sorry that is greater than or equal to so it's greater than or equal to one so one so this has one tail one tail two tail so three over four good then solve three over four each plus one over three multiplying 21 minus each equal to 12 this linear equation and in the diagram below pq is parallel to sn and ut is a transversal angle qmt is 55 and srt is y plus then you find the value of y so here to pause try your hands on the solution is here when you are done you can correspond to see if you relate to your answer then finally a ladder leaned against a school building at a point p from the horizontal ground the angle of elevation from the foot of the ladder to p is 60 degrees and the distance from the foot of the ladder to the base of the building is 3 meters now take cos 60 degrees to be 1 over 2 and tan 60 to be root 3. Illustrate the information in the Venn diagram. Sorry, in the diagram. You find the length of the ladder and the height of the building at P. So this is the diagram. Well, there will be an angle of elevation. When it's angle of elevation, now this, the object stands here. So this is the object then he's watching so let's say there is um, an animal up here now first an eye level will be created so first he sees straight then he's going to lift his eye up to then watch the object up here good so as he watches the eye level and lifts up here there will be an angle of elevation created here sorry let's go back to that question again yes so as i was saying as he lifts up the eye there will be an angle of elevation created here which is the 60 degrees I know an, an elevator good so as he lifts the angle goes up like that and it's created at the eye level where he raises the eye to look up good so this will be the diagram that will be created so we choose x to be the length of the ladder which is this the x and the height which is the h so we try our hands on this one too and when you are done your solution is here
so your height is 6 and h is 3 root 3 punching on the calculator to two one decimal place is 5.2 meters good so these are some few questions for um our candidates try your hands on it and let's see how far it goes thank you for watching have a nice day that is not all we'll present you a lot a lot thank you